So what yeah. was that? Yeah. What's that nuance, right? For you, like where you start, like what's that tool or that, that trick that you've learned to lean into that, to find that recalibration for yourself and how you're helping that with others? Oh, ooh, that's a real, that's a really intense question. It's like, and I feel, I kind of, I'll acknowledge that I feel a little bit pressure. Like there's this one thing that happened. Yeah. Right? Well, it's like not that, right. It's not a, like one a thing. sudden transformation, yeah. but in the, in the world of duality, right. I was giving even the name of your podcast. I was giving it a lot of thought coming into this, this conversation about like you winning life. What, well, what is, well, what does winning mean? And like, right. Like, and we have this duality, the understanding of the opposite of winning is losing. Yeah. But what if it wasn't losing? What if the opposite of winning was learning? What if you, you either fucking crushed it or you learned something from it so that you can crush it next time. So you didn't really lose. And so I think just naturally be, I'm like a, I'm always devil's advocate, silver lining, whatever you want to call it's it. Dualist. But I'm always looking yeah. for like, there's another way to see this. And so like the, the practice of reframing is really powerful. So when I started to understand that the way that we use language actually creates the world as we experience it and the way, not just like how we describe what it looks like, but how we describe how we interact with it, those words that we choose to, to describe the world out there are clues to your inner world, right? Like, is the world happening to you or is it happening for you? Is it co-created, right? co-created yeah and then you bump, I bump up against people all the time we're like I, I could never like create a world like that and I'm like but you don't understand that you have been creating your world this entire time right it's like the artist never knew he was an artist right but yeah all the while creating art along the way so when people say something to me that sounds particularly disempowering I want to immediately reframe it so that we can think about we can like set our mind in that context right? We want a positive context to move this conversation forward. But if, if, if the way that you're talking about your circumstance is that if you're disempowered and the world is out there somewhere and that you have no say in the matter, then we can't move forward. I could tell you what to do, but then you're going to be doing it in that mindset. So I need to shift you out of that to this. And when I started to hear how I was referring to things, right? I want, I want to make more money implies that I'm not making enough money or I want my life to be better implies that my life is not that great. Right. And so instead of speaking in relational terms, I started speaking in creative terms and I want my relationship to be loving, deep, accepting, trusting. And then that's creative. That's generative language. So that's when it started to like really open up for me that I had constantly been relating to my environment based on the data set that I had inherited from the people who raised me. And Literally, not to say that yeah. they did that to me, right? They did no, the best. It's inherited. They could, it's inherited. They had. Yeah. Yeah. 